I want to show you a little bit about the process of how we help with incubation. So I have some birds that can naturally rear their own chicks and they can hatch their own eggs successfully and I have other birds that although it's in them they're just not very good at it. It's a bit like people, not everyone's a good parent. So sometimes we intervene and that's really quite a complex task. Um, but I just want to show you a little glimpse of that um, about how we help certain species. Now the, the clutch of eggs that we're going to follow are six little owl babies. And the mum of these eggs, um, she's in with her little partner. They're called Sage and Olive. They're, they're prolific breeders, but they're just not very good parents. So the problem we have is that she lays a full clutch of eggs, which is usually six or seven eggs in a clutch, which is a big clutch um, for a small bird. Typical for little owls is three or four. Um, but she's very happy, very content. She likes to lay a big clutch. However, she's not very good at looking after the eggs. And because she lays such a big clutch, she actually struggles to keep them all incubated. So we find it's actually much easier um, with her to take those eggs um, and give her replacements. So she still gets to sit eggs, they're just not fertile. Um, they're pretend eggs, if you like. Um, she doesn't know the difference. And then we can take those eggs through that process. We can incubate them safely, hatch those chicks, and then give her the chicks back. So as far as she's concerned, the eggs have hatched and she gets her chicks. Um, so it's a way that we can help those birds. Um, sometimes I have birds that will do everything themselves, they're very good parents, they have a very natural ability, they know what happens when they're laying eggs, they know how to incubate them for the full term, they don't get bored of them, they don't come off them, um, and they're able to hatch those chicks and feed those chicks. And then you have other bird parents that actually do all sorts of insane things. They lay eggs off the side of the ledges, they forget to sit on them in the first part of the incubation, which is really critical. They break the eggs, they jump around in the nest, they only incubate half of them. Um, sometimes when they hatch the chicks, they eat the chicks, well, they forget to feed them and they just want to brood them. So you get a whole host of issues, um, but obviously we're able to intervene and give them a hand. So I just want to open up a little bit of this world um, and just show you a little bit about the magic of incubation and the magic of hatching.